But a new report gives a black eye to Woodlawn Beach, listing it among the dirtiest beaches in Erie County. News 4's Mike Saika joins us now with reaction. Mike. That's right, Diana. Woodlawn may have received a bad grade in a recent national study, but there is a big initiative to turn the beach around. It's probably, you know, uh, best kept secret in Western New York, one of the most beautiful beaches you'll ever see. That's what the town of Hamburg is vying for, as it is the official caretaker of the Woodlawn Beach State Park in light of a recent National Resources Defense Council beach report. The council, which produces the report annually, looks at over 3,000 beaches nationally and ranked Woodlawn as one of the 19th biggest environmental offenders. The NRDC designation is based on poor water samples for each summer from 2007 through 2011. They take readings at the far north end of the beach, which are, are much higher. They're uh, near some, some creeks that empty in. The flow uh, of, of the lake goes north, so our readings, uh, for the most part, are fine. And swimming is safe, and we've been open almost every day of the month. I'm also told, too, that the criteria that they use in the testing is actually pretty conservative. Is that true? Uh, my understanding is that is correct, yes. The main culprit for Woodlawn is rain and overflow. This results in storm water, sanitary sewer, and wastewater to empty into the lake. A joint county and state study is currently looking into the reasons and possible solutions for the discharge. According to the NRDC study, daily water quality test results aren't really final until 24 hours after, so they are more of an indicator of conditions from the previous day. But this sure isn't stopping people from hitting the beach. We're having a great day. We just I got a Friday off with my kids, so I thought let's go to the beach. And I'd heard Woodlawn was a nice place, state park, so we gave it a shot. It's our first time here, yeah, this season. We were here a couple years ago, but it wasn't this nice. Since testing results are not available for 24 hours after the fact, keep this in mind. As a rule of thumb, if there's a heavy rainfall, there may be a problem. And if the water is uh, the water's more likely to be clean if during dry periods. Mike, Second News 4 at 5.